Anna, Ilona, and Marie. Thank you very much. Thank you. I can leave the microphone. Wow, what a panel. What a panel. And uh, that's why we are here, to, to, build a, to build a better future. That's why we are here at Change Now. And now there is a, a final speaker who is going to wrap up the session. So I will need some energy to make sure we give her a warm, warm welcome. Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. Thank you. So she's a top model, an actress, and an activist. In 2017, she was the first openly transgender Playboy Playmate. She was part also of a Netflix series called uh, Emily in Paris. She's the author of Femme, a book based on her personal story and a transition experience. And also, she's a campaigner for human rights, particularly women's empowerment, and as well as an environmental preservation advocate. Please give a massive round of applause to Ines Raou. Well, first of all, I'm terrorized, guys. I never talked in front of such a massive audience, and I'm not so confident of my English, but I'm going to do my best. So before to tell you about my activism and our, our organization, but it's really dear to my heart, I would like to tell you a little bit of my journey, because what I heard from you resonated so much, but I would like to swim into that a little bit. So as you know and you heard, I'm a trans woman. Tell people to and I would like to break the cliche on uh, trans people and to tell you about the philosophical and spiritual journey and also the strength to make that decision to transform into the woman that you are inside. Because, you know, women would serve the word, right? And I'm so proud to be part of them. So. Very young, when I decided to do my transition, I realized that what I was seeing were not who I was. But even though I don't consider that I was born in the wrong body, because I think nature does everything perfectly. I love to transition, because my transition was the beginning of my spiritual awakening, because I realized that I identified as a soul a soul inside a body, inside a temple. And for me, the best way to build my temple was the shape of a woman. But actually now, after a few years, even though I feel amazing in my body, I realize that we are all both, and we need to find the right balance. So very young, I identified as a soul. So my spiritual awakening started, and so it brought me to the empathy the empathy for male, for women, for nature, my connection to the universe. And so naturally, I started my activism for human rights, for the LGBTQA plus rights, but also for the wildlife conservancy and all these subjects and the beauty of the world that we need to preserve and save. That leads me to tell you about an amazing organization that I'm going to be the ambassador, but I am the ambassador, actually, called Giboyana. It's an organization that is so dear to my heart that it's um, advocating for the rights of the indigenous tribes in the Amazon forest. I was lucky enough to meet some of the native, the leaders of the tribes in the, of the Amazon in Paris a few months ago as they came to Europe in Glasgow for the COP26, right? Yeah. And we talked for a few hours, and I was really touched because I realized that males and females that come from the indigenous tribes are all channeling the feminine. And also, what is very interesting is that there is LGBTQI plus people in the Amazon forest, but they don't even consider themselves as LGBTQI plus. This is like European, like. You know, this word of what we are that's compartmentalized everybody into communities. For them, they're just humans with different sensibilities, sexualities, and everything. So that resonated so much. But I decided to like, give as much as I could and use my power, my success, to spread awareness on this organization. And so I'm going to spend a month in the Amazon forest this summer, 
with them, reforesting parts of the Amazon that have been deforested, <laughs> digging wheels. Yay! Maybe I should document it, actually, I thought about it. And it's, it's just so beautiful because when I talked to them, I realized, like, when I told them that I was a trans woman for them, it was, like, not even a subject because they're so advanced spiritually that we were talking the same language, you know. They realized that we are souls inside a body. And why I wanted to tell you that today is because we are identify identifying sorry, too much towards our bodies, our, the color of our skins, the age that we are, our social statements, all these things. But we are souls inside vehicles, inside a body. Because who know better than me who changed and transformed everything and I'm still the same person. And I vibrate female, I vibrate male and I feel so balanced in both. And so it really opened my heart to the experience of being a human in this planet because like, we separ like, I think the problem of the world today, it's separation. We separate for our social classes, the color of our skins, our religions, separation, separation, separation. But the first separation is the separation with males and females already. And I'm here to make peace between both because I am both somehow and I'm so, I'm so fine with it, you know. So this is, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I, was, I feel like my English is terrible, but it's okay. <laughs> Maybe better than your French. <laughs> and uh, it's beyond the state of being and I just would like you to understand that channeling the feminine, as you said, will save the world. That's what the world needs. And you know what? Sometimes journalists like to say that, oh, you know, in their articles, she was born in the wrong body. But no, I was not born in the wrong body because I think the transition is so spiritually and energetically so powerful. But I love it. And I, it, it feels... I think everything is done for a reason, but in order to have this empathy and this strength in my activism, I needed to experience to be a male and a female, to step out of the body, to step out of genders, to really feel that empathy for what is it to be a human, right? And also I feel that as a feminist, and by the way, a feminis feminism doesn't mean that we need to fight men's because we're better than that. We shouldn't do what they did with their machism. Machism, right? Yeah. So what I was saying, yeah, I was saying that the power of understa understanding both gender is that we are exactly the same. We should stop separation. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted to tell you. As a feminist, I realized that I was even more proud when I realized what women's been through for thousands of years that I am so proud to have been born as a male and to make that decision to be what is for me the strong sex, which is to be a female. Women will save the world. Thank you. Gentlemen.